to enable.org presents Mathematical Literacy Cooking Conversions Right Teaspoon This is a picture of a normal teaspoon that we will use in our houses and this is a measuring te a teaspoon measure measuring spoon <laughs> Next to a box of matches just to see the size Okay, so the abbreviation for teaspoon in a recipe is TSP. A teaspoon's capacity is 5 milliliters. Therefore, if a recipe asks for 2 teaspoons, the recipe asks for 2 times 5 milliliters. And that is equal to 10 milliliters. Not all teaspoons are exactly 5 milliliters, but all of them are close enough to 5 milliliters to make your recipe a success. And just remember, when a recipe asks for 5 milliliters, if, well, I can't draw very well, but if this is a top part of the teaspoon, we shouldn't heap it up like that then that is almost, well that's about 7 milliliters. But if a if a recipe asks for a teaspoonful of something, you take your teaspoon and you flatten the things that, that you put on the sugar. Whoops, that's not a good flatting. But you flatten it out. So all of these need to go. Okay, so you have to flatten out the amount that you put on a teaspoon to get to more or less 5 milliliters. A tablespoon picture of a normal tablespoon next to a tablespoon measuring spoon and next to a box of matches just to see the size. A tablespoon, the abbreviation is TBSP. Now a tablespoon is more or less 15 milliliters. Therefore if a recipe asks for three tablespoons for how are we going to measure it in milliliters? 3 times 15 milliliters is equal to 45 milliliters. So 3 tablespoon is 45 milliliters. Not all tablespoons are exactly 15 milliliters, but all of them are close enough to 15 milliliters to make your recipe a success. A cup picture of a cup next to a measuring cup, you'll see that the measuring cup is much higher than the cup, but the cup is a little bit wider than the measuring cup, so therefore the capacity might be more or less the same. The abbreviation for cup is C with a dot next to it, and that is about 250 milliliters. Therefore, if a recipe asks for four cups, it is equal to four times 250 milliliters, which is about a thousand milliliters. And later on, we'll do that a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. Remember, not all cups are exactly 250 milliliters, but all of them are close enough to 250 milliliters to rate, make your recipe a success. Just remember that when a recipe asks for a cup, a mug is much bigger than a cup. So when we will, uh, when we have only have a mug to measure with, we will not fill the, the mug to the br brim, otherwise it is about f sometimes 400 milliliters. So just keep that in mind. How many teaspoons? How many teaspoons are in one tablespoon? Now one teaspoon is 5 milliliters and one tablespoon is 15 milliliters. So when we want to calculate how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon, we'll go 15 milliliters, which is the capacity of the tablespoon, divide by 5 milliliters, which is the capacity of the teaspoon, and that gives us 3. So in one teaspoon, oh sorry, in one tablespoon, there are 
three teaspoons. So when a recipe calls for one tablespoon, we can actually use three teaspoons full. How many teaspoons? Okay, so this is not step by step, so let's just start at the beginning. How many teaspoons are in 60 milliliters? Now, this is not comparing teaspoons with tablespoons, but this is just asking the amount of milliliters. Ach, teaspoons in 60 milliliters. Now, one teaspoon is 5 milliliters. So, we'll take the 60 milliliters. And we will say we divide the 60 milliliters by 5 and we get 12. So 60 milliliters is equal to 12 teaspoons. Right. How many tablespoons? How many tablespoons are in one cup? Sure. Okay, so one tablespoon is 15 milliliters. One cup is 250 milliliters. So now we can, can, com we can compare the milliliters with the milliliters. And that is ultimately what we want when we're doing a question on measurement, is that our units are the same. So we take the 250 milliliters. And we say we divide that by 15 milliliters. 250 divided by 15 milliliters is equal to 16,66666. And this is a repeat, this number repeats to infinity. But we can round this, and this is means almost equal to when we round, we use that sign. And so there are almost 17 tablespoons in one cup. How many tablespoons are in 195 milliliters? Okay, so one tablespoon is 15 milliliters. So we take the 195 and we divide it by 15. And that gives us 13. Okay, so 195 milliliters is equal to 13 tablespoons. How many cups? How many cups fit into 2 liters? Now that is quite a large amount. Right, now we know that 1 cup is 250 milliliters, but we cannot compare the 250 milliliters with one liter because when we have measuring measurement calculations, we need to have the same units. So we need to change the two liters into milliliters or the 250 milliliters into liters. Okay, now one liter, one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. And this is also something that, that we'll do a little bit later. Okay, so it means that two liters is equal to two thousand milliliters. So this is probably something that would be given to you as this is not part of grade 10 work just yet. 2,000 divided by 250 gives us 8 cups. So, 8 cups is equal to 2,000 milliliters. Let's just quickly go to the previous one. Um, okay, where's the pen? Right? Um, uh, 2 liters is equal to 8 cups. 8 cups. Not a very good looking cup, but still. Well there. 2 liters is equal to 8 cups. Thank you very much.